Good evening, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the wonderful souls gathered here tonight, a very, very good evening to each and every one of you. It's an absolute delight to welcome you all to the grand debut of Anandam. Ah, just saying the word fills the air with a palpable sense of joy, doesn't it? We've all been to our fair share of school events, haven't we? The talent shows, the sports days, the awkwardly hilarious plays, they're all a rite of passage. But tonight, tonight is a whole new ball game. Just like everything else at Shivnadar School Chennai, this event is sprinkled with that Shivnadar magic. But hold on to your seats, because what you're about to experience is no ordinary school event. Oh no, it's a carefully crafted piece, a product of hard work and creativity. You see, tonight isn't just about what you see on stage. It's about the journey that got us here. And let me tell you, it's been quite an interesting ride. Picture this, our talented learners diving headfirst into a vast ocean of arts and culture, exploring the aspects of music, dance, drama, and visual arts like fearless adventurers on a quest of treasure. But fear not, for this journey wasn't all smooth sailing. No, sir, there were highs and lows triumphs and tribulations, but through it all, our learners always emerge stronger, wiser, and ready to take on the world. And hey, speaking of taking on the world, let's not forget the invaluable life lesson our students have learned along the way. The importance of taking responsibility. Tonight, you will see them owning every moment, every step, and every twirl ensuring that the event is nothing short of spectacular. Let's turn our attention to someone who embodies wisdom, experience, and joy all rolled into one. Please join me in inviting our principal, Ms. Padmini, to share a few words. Thank you. Welcome to everyone present here. If there's always a good beginning to things, and we are just delighted that you're all here. But we need the universe to conspire right for us. So please settle yourselves. Let's send out a prayer of gratitude that we've all had this, we all have this opportunity today to gather here to see our little ones share what they have put together for all of us. Sarve bhavantu sukinaha, sarve santu niramayaha, sarve badhrani pasyantu ma khashit dukha bhag bhavet. May all be happy. May all be free from illness. May all experience all that is beautiful and auspicious. May none suffer. Let peace prevail. A very warm welcome to you all once again. As I stand before you, I'm so, so deeply moved. Deeply moved when I say is because a year before when I met, or a year and a half before when we met, to first decide that we will both walk together a long journey from probably early years to grade 12. Some of you from grade 2 to grade 12. We didn't know what was in store for us. All we knew was we were positive about a future, a future that we will build together for our little ones. And today when you saw the clippings of what my little ones seem to understand what Anandam is to them, you will know from what level they came in and the kind of freedom that they have to express and, see, be just, and just be just so honest um, to be able to express oneself without a sense of worry or feeling judged, I think, to what we call well-being. So to me and to my wonderful set of teachers who have made this possible for these students to feel at home every step is something that is very, very unique, something that is very close to our hearts, 
It brings tears of joy for me because when a child tells, shares, I was wondering what should I draw? How big the sh head should be? What colors must I choose? But then he has all, all the freedom to actually express himself. There we feel completely vindicated that the philosophy of uh, Shiv Nadar school and the IB philosophy which says inquire, program, process, walk, explore, we have tried to keep that spirit of what true education is all that is for both of us that we shared when we first met somewhere. We have tried to keep it intact. And I really take a bow for all my teachers who work day in and day out to get there. They, I think they deserve a loud round of applause. It's very difficult for me to keep to a paper, but I think for paucity of time, I will keep to the paper today. <laughs> so I go back to the prepared speech. Um, a very well, warm welcome to all of you on this joyous occasion of our Anandam celebration. It's an exceptional day as we have gathered here to celebrate the artistic talents and creative flair of our incredible students. This is the day we have all been eagerly waiting for, the day that showcases the culmination of months of hard work, dedication, and passion. Art. It's always held as a special place in our hearts. And today we have the opportunity to witness its magic unfold in front of our very eyes. The energy in the air is infectious as our students, the artists of tomorrow, are prepared to mesmerize us with their talent in various art forms, be it painting that you saw as you walked through, dancing, singing, acting, or any other form of creative expression that they excel in. Our school has always believed in nurturing well-rounded individuals, instilling the importance of academics alongside the arts. We pride ourselves on providing a platform for our students to explore their artistic abilities, encouraging them to boldly express their thoughts and emotions through their chosen art forms. Today, we witness the result of this holistic approach to education. The Anandam celebration not only serves as a showcase of talent, but also as a testament to the relentless efforts put forth by our dedicated teachers who have guided and inspired our students through their artistic journeys. Their commitment to nurturing creativity and providing guidance has played a vital role in the success we will see here today. To our young artists, my dear students, this is your moment to shine. Embrace this opportunity to convey your stories, your own unique ones, your dreams and your perspectives through your artistic expressions. Your talent is a gift that deserves to be shared with this world, and we are privileged to be your audience today. To the parents and guardians here, thank you. Thank you so much for entrusting us with the responsibility of nurturing your children's artistic abilities. Your support and encouragement have been instrumental in their growth and success. Today, we invite you to revel in the pride and joy that comes from witnessing your children's artistic achievements. Finally, to everyone present here, let us immerse ourselves in the vibrant world created by these talented young minds. Let us celebrate the power of art and its ability to touch our souls, inspire us, and bring us together as a community. Once again, a warm welcome to our Anandam celebrations. Get ready to be enchanted, dazzled, and moved by the extraordinary talent of our students. Thank you, and enjoy the show, and welcome once again. Now, let's plunge into the essence of Anandam, a delightful medley of music, dance, theater, and visual art infused with a hearty dose of passion and creativity. And now, my dear friends, prepare yourself to be whisked away on an unforgettable journey with none other than the explorer, Sundar. Right. 
as, a, as different children portray different faces of Sundar's life, we will follow him to several places, situations, and journeys. What do you think is in store? A few challenges? Maybe some laughter? Or maybe some horror? Or it could be some life lessons from these wise minds. Before we begin, I would like to request you all to ensure your mobile devices are set to silent mode. We would be Let's enjoy this evening. Uh, memories as pure as, as they are in our hearts, unfiltered, unrecorded, and entirely unforgettable. Sharing them all with you for sure after the event. So without further ado, let's buckle up, sit back, and let the magic of Anandam wash over us like a tidal wave of joy. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready for the ups and downs? Yeah. Then let's embark on this unforgettable adventure with Sundar and his merry band of companions. out there. Like what? Places and people, cultures waiting to be discovered. Different languages, different games, different traditions. Oh, and different food. It must have taken courage to cross the sea for the first time. Right? Yes. Courage and curiosity like the story we are about to watch. A story about rising tides. A story about adventure. The students of Pivar 2, 3 and 4 of Shivnara School Chennai present Sailing into the again found anything interesting nothing so far every sunday you ask me the same question why can't you find somewhere else to fish what to do every sunday you do the same thing and no fishing anywhere else won't be as interesting why you're happy with all the bottles slippers and helmets you catch no i'm happy knowing you speaking of bottles here's an interesting one is that a paper folded inside what does it say? Be patient, I have to open the bottle first. Can't even open the bottle. Here, give it to me. <laughs> Can't even open a bottle. You messed with it and it got stuck. Wait, I'll call my Tata. He'll open it in no time. Tata? What happened, Kanad? You get bit up by a crab again. You want me to sing a lullaby? So. You're embarrassing me. Can you please open this bottle? Where did you find that? Right here, on the beach. Why? Is something wrong? It can't be. What can't be? They look remarkably familiar like the ones I threw all those years ago. What? Why would you throw a bottle into the sea? Didn't your parents tell about water pollution? <laughs> Can I grew me a time and there was barely any water pollution. And this is a glass bottle. Have you never heard of a message put into the bottle and thrown into the sea? Of course I have. I just thought that sort of stuff only happened in stories. Like treasures, islands, pirates, the stuff you can in myths and legends? Good myths and legends have a pinch of truth in them. Anyway, I remember that day like it was yesterday. Thank you. 
one too before going for lunch. But Akka, it's almost lunch time already. What can I do about that? If they need their boat fast, they need them. Otherwise, the fish won't be caught in time for dinner. Every day somebody needs their boat urgently. What about me? I want to try and run to the seas. You yourself have seen how dangerous it is and how damage these boats take. Grandfather disappeared one day, never to return. You know that, don't you? Don't keep asking me about sailing off into the sunset. The shore is where we are safe. E Every day somebody needs a boat urgently. What about me? I want to travel into the sea. What about all the ideas and questions brimming in my mind? What about the... What about this piece of paper that Tata left behind? I don't know. Stuffed into a bottle and threw it in the sea. Maybe it'll reply. But you are not going anywhere and that's final. I took a mysterious paper, uh, paper and wrote a secret message and stuffed it into a bottle. A secret message? What was it? It wouldn't be very secret if we told you, would it? When I went to throw it and I saw a small girl about my age. so lucky. That's what everyone keeps telling me. Hey, what's in that bottle? A message? For whom is it? It's for anyone who finds it, really. Since I can't travel the seas, maybe my ideas can. Why can't you travel the seas? Because my Akka keeps telling me it's too dangerous. But I disagree. Life is all about the unknown. Hmm, she may be right. I wish I had a sister like yours who would let me live in one place instead of my brother who travels all the time. Maybe we should change our siblings, then we'd both be happy. Actually, that's exactly what we're going to do. Well, I was just joking. Think about it. I'll stay here and settle. You would travel the seas with my brother and sell my crafts. It would be perfect. How 
How would it be perfect? My brother and your sister would never agree to this. True, but there's no time to convince them anyway. The ship leaves now. What are you doing? You must be crazy. The only way you'll go is if I tie you to your fate. I'll leave a note for my brother Feroz. Ja, Sundar Ja. Ji li apni zindagi. I don't even speak Hindi. Better learn fast. You'll need it where you're going. And where is that? Why should I tell you? You were the one who said life is all about the unknown. Until we meet again! Did you hear about the young man who was found tied to a pole on a ship? Sundar, I heard he's a thief. I heard he's a spy. I heard he's a pirate. Next you'll say he's Captain Oka Virapat. All oh. right. How do you know? How can you say that for... She tied up a young man to the ship, didn't she? Let me guess, but see, it's smart. Too smart. Too smart for her own good, if you ask me. No! You. Anyway, Feroz, why don't you take the first ship back to Madras and search for Pariza then? What will you do when you what will you do when you find her? Oh, she's a goner if I find her. Does she know how much she's making us worry? I understand how you feel, but she has her reasons. She, she, maybe she does not like being at the sea all the time. She is just being moody, like the sea. One day she's all calm and tranquil. Next moment she's ragging us as the world's gonna come crashing down. It's just the usual ups and downs. My two paisas on this matter is, Feroz, why don't you first talk to her? Maybe there's something playing on her mind. All right, once and I'm scolding her to death, I'll talk to her. That's a hard way to put it. Anyway, I'm really curious about this Sundar fellow. Can't you see that Sundar's good at repairing those boats? Oh yes, I heard he'll give he may give him some work with the maintenance engineers. That's a good idea. I should say safe for them. Didn't you see that Sundar's good at selling those crafts? Oh yes. Oh yes, I heard he made some sales at Tutukodi and Cochin. I wonder how long will that last? Selling at the next stop won't be as easy. We see excited new craft sellers all the time. Excitement through and through at first. At that boom, 
It's all too much. Yes, but let's not assume anything. We think this fellow will survive. Not just survive. He may thrive at the next stop. The city that never sleeps. Bombay. Don't you have to sleep in order to get dreams? Stop taking things so literally. Maybe I should get some sleep. Don't sleep until we finish in the story. At, At the, the shores of Bombay. <laughs> मुश्किल जीना यहाँ जरा हट के जरा बच के ये है बॉम्बे मेरी जान कहीं बिल्डिंग कहीं ट्राम में कहीं मोटर कहीं मिल मिलता है यहाँ सब कुछ एक मिलता नहीं दिल कहीं बिल्डिंग कहीं ट्राम में कहीं मोटर कहीं मिल मिलता है यहाँ सब कुछ एक मिलता नहीं दिल इंसान का नहीं कहीं नाम और निशान जरा हट के जरा बच के ये है बॉम्बे मेरी जान दिल मुश्किल जीना यहाँ जरा हट के जरा बच के ये है बॉम्बे मेरी जान Excuse me, handmade tops. Buy each for 20 rupees. Bada pao, 5 rupees with special chutney. Best in all Bombay. Cow, cow. Can I have one? How about that one? Yes. Yes, yes. Each of them is made with a lot of hard work. See the details, all the colors and all the skill it took. How much will you charge? 20 rupees per piece. But the finishing is not nice. But the wood is very rough. Are it's handmade, not by a machine. Please. Consider all the hard work that was done to make it. But on the next street, people were only selling it for 15 rupees. No, no, 20 rupees. No, I gave my Mary 10 rupees. Best I can do is 15 rupees. Oh my God, this bargaining. How do people sell anything? When sales trouble buy? Almost no one is buying anything. Relax, this is normal in Bombay. How will I make enough to eat three meals a day here? Don't be afraid of failing, bye. He's not afraid of failing. He's afraid of starving. You can't sell to everyone. All you need are a few good customers. But I'm not getting any. It's a matter of trying. Ten say no, try the next twenty. They say no, try the next fifty. There are two things that Bombay never runs out of. People and opportunities. Haha, <laughs> and bargaining. Haha, <laughs> the robot. Come, let's have some chart. Chart? I've tried Madras. Not very good. Are try the Bombay chart, bhai. Ekdom tasty people all the world come to Bombay and they all love the chart here. Bombay is filled with chart, chai and conversations of our dream. Thousands of people come here wanting to be movie stars. Most of the shooting of Bollywood films happen here. Wow, I had no idea. Can I meet them? You can try your luck, but they won't just meet with anybody. All right then, let's have some chart. All right then, one pani puri papri chart coming up. How's the taste, bye? Ah, uh, oh my goodness, it's so spicy. My mouth is burning. Here, have some meter pani, bye. Should I stop serving? No, no, I want more. Keep them coming. Ha ha, I told you they're the best. No, why the funny? You know why they call it chart? Because it's finger looking, looking good. Look, chart, they read jayge. That was so much fun. But doesn't the pace of the city feel like too much sometimes? Not to me. After one week of this, you'll feel like it's a part of your routine. 
People have big dreams. What's a small sacrifice like working hard in front of that? By the way, what's your dream? My dream is to explore the world, to find treasures and have adventures that might be tougher to do, no? If you want to relax, life go to Punjab. In fact, my friend, my friend, my friend's leaving this afternoon. If you want to go, you'd better hurry. Quick, you'd better be quick. I'll give you his address. Thank you so much. Before you leave, the chart costs 15 rupees. Make yourself at home. Sukwinda told me you would be coming. This is our family. Leo Singer, Saya Singer, my name is Tandi Singer. Uh, nice to meet you. I must also remember all these names. Ha ha ha. Very good sense of humor we have, Paji. So welcome to Punjab. I guess you came here to relax a little. Bombay was too much to handle, wasn't it? Yeah, there was just too much running around. I want to slow down a little. You have come to the perfect place. Relaxing is mandatory. Ha 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 ha. Now we are farmers. The work isn't that demanding. So what work should I do? Are you just reached here. Take a nap first. No, no, I don't feel like sleeping. Are it's not sleeping, Putta. It's just napping. Napping is a family tradition. You must join. Okay, Ji, but just for a few minutes. Are <laughs> Putta, you're still sleeping. Wake up! Time to get to work. Oh, sorry. What's the time? You said it's time to work. But it's been three hours. Lassi, Khet, Ganna or Gana. These are the things I love most with Punjab. If you have these things, life is sad. But now it's time for you to, do, to go to the fields and work. So what work should I do? Simple things. You will begin with playing at the wheel. <laughs> what are you doing, Ray? Put your whole body strength into it. Why aren't you doing it too? We are inspecting for pests. Why can't I do that instead? You are the one who needs to build muscles. I know, said I want to build muscles. How can you not want to build muscles? That's the dream of every young Munda in the state. Now you understand why farmers are the backbone of the world. All I know is I need a new backbone soon. With the oil, the sabers, we love an amazing pizza, Besaki. Come, come, let's go join the dance.
So Sundar didn't like Bombay and he didn't like Punjab. It sounds like wherever he goes, he finds something wrong with that place. Shouldn't he take some time to settle in at each place he's stopping by? Wanting something fresh and new is not always possible. He should really understand that exploring isn't just about covering as many places as possible. It will be more meaningful if he experiences the day-to-day -day life in those places. Either way, he's in for a rough experience, sooner or later. He should really be careful or else he'll get stuck. He'll get caught in a sticky situation. I wonder what will happen to him at sea this time. Have you ever gone sailing? Me? No, no. I feel seasick as soon as I step on a boat. Better not rock the boat then. Because we need to be alert in the middle of the Arabian Sea. I hear you climbed on board last minute. Why do you want to come aboard so badly? I've been waiting to explore the seas for a long time. I never travel so far. I see. The sea can be an unforgiving place. Just because it was smooth sailing a few weeks ago doesn't mean the tides won't change. I'm ready for any sort of weather, Captain. Okay, well, make yourself useful. The upper deck needs a some cleaning. You can grab them up and get started. Aye, aye, Captain. Captain, is it going to be a big storm? Hold on to something. Don't let go at any cost. Probably just a bit of rough weather. Oh, Captain, my Captain, you have more problems than a bit of rough weather. What a nice ship you have here. It would be a shame if said something will happen to it. Enough small talk. Where's your skill with the sword? We have guns nowadays. Why still suck it up old in times? And how useful is the gun now? <gasps> Don't make me laugh. No, we may be old fashioned, but we still have the upper hand at sea. Now hand over real valuables. Who do you think you are demanding like that? You're not getting anything from the ship. How else do you want us to speak? Politely? Excuse me, Captain. Can I please have all the expensive things? Excuse me, th Captain. May I use the toilet? I believe we call the restroom in it. Excuse me. Excuse me, Captain. Would you like some tea? Are you not joking around? Actually, I have this very big joke about the monkey, a lion, and a genie. Hey, hey. Focus on our purpose here. Our purpose is to... We came here to... Wait, why do you come here? To look if you won't tell us where your valuables are, we will search and destroy your whole ship. I won't let you get away with this. Oh, what? You sit here and complain. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Come, let's search all the rooms.
Did they hurt you? What a touching moment. But it's time for you to leave the ship and come to us. Let's go. Move fast. We have more ships to capture. Hey, where are you going? Hey, where are you going? You are the captain. You stand at you. You haven't seen the last of me. Why is it a bottle? 
It must be a map to something important. Let's measure. Hey, you tell us what it is. To explain properly, I need to hold it both hands. Can you unlock me first? Why is it? Why is it? Uh, uh, uh... Get it back quick! <laughs> Guys, we can use this moment to escape. Oh, this was a part of your plan. It was such a brilliant move. Hurry up to wait with me to the escape boat. We finally reached land, but where are we? Hey, this is my home. We're in Gujarat. How Thank God. Thank God. I was worried if we came to the right country. How do you know that? Is there a sign somewhere? Can't you hear the music? It sounds like my traditional Gujarati dance. Maybe, maybe they can guide us.
Excuse me, did you come here on a boat an hour ago? Good evening, officer. Yes, we came on a boat. Put your hands in the air. You are all going to come with me to the police station for questioning. No, officer, you seem to have misunderstood me. We escaped from a pirate. You need to help us. Then how can I believe you? Anyone can say such far-fetched things. Can you prove who you are? Sorry, officer. All our IDs are on the other ship. We are forcibly taken to the pirate ship. Then how can I believe you? You don't seem to understand the trouble you are in. What trouble? I have received reports of a boat smuggled goods, with smuggled goods discovered near the port. The pirates have smuggled us. And the money of the smuggled goods are worth will make your eyes pop. Please, officer. Mrs. Sundar has rescued us from these pirates. Don't punish him. That's right, officer. Please believe these children are telling the truth. Captain, you escaped. Not just escape. I also call for backup and not those pirates. Thank you, Captain. We are very grateful for you. The best part is yet to come. Sundar, mm. there's some people who like to beat you. Hi. I'm extremely sorry for what I did. Do you remember me? You, what you are doing here? Officer, arrest her. Why? What did she do? Why should I arrest her? Just some silly things. I found her going to Madras. She was repairing boats in your place. And I'm afraid she's ruined your reputation. Hey, how is <laughs> that bad? Only one of the boats sank. That's too many. You were supposed to be repairing them. But you did quite well overall. I can see that if you stay in places for longer, you are happier. Thank you. Sundar, you're glad that you went, right? It turned out to be all okay in the end. No thanks to you, but I learned a lot. Okay, enough learning. We need to get back. Hang on, you can't just leave yet. Why, officer? We didn't do anything wrong. I need you all to come to the police station and tell your statements before the reports come. Okay, officer, we will all come. Sundar, where are you going after that? Heavy? Sundar, where are you going after that? Nowhere. He'll come straight back. Home. Who I mean, when did you come? Who's this? Why can't you let me do my job? Where have you been for the last month? I've been searching for you all over the country. Do you have any idea what it happened for your safety? Now I'm worried about his safety. Well, Sundar, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> I'm waiting. Okay, sorry. fine, I will arrest you. Not even the police can save you from me. <laughs> Abhirami Akka, I'm sorry. I got carried away with all the adventures. I can see that. Didn't I tell you it's too dangerous? You did, Taka, but I faced those dangers and learned a lot. What did you learn? I learned that people of the world have far bigger problems than I do. I have to do my best to help others. Even I learned that I am grateful to what I have. Not bad, young brother. I'm sorry I underestimated you. I... Maybe I shouldn't have been so harsh and stopped you from following your dreams the way I did. But you do have to be more careful. Oh, I hope you're done now. Now can we finally go to the station? Sorry, officer. Let's go. Once we're done, we have to get back to our village. A celebration awaits. Skin. We 
Sundar learned to balance his curiosity with responsibility. And his Abhirami Akka recognized his adventurous and kind spirit. While Faraz learned to be a bit more grounded for his sister. Fariza learned to respect life experiences and skills of others. That was such an eventful adventure. Imagine going alone to all those different places. Imagine being stuck in one place all your life. Imagine traveling so much that you don't even have a home. Imagine being captured by pirates. Sundar Tata went to such tough times. But I'm glad he safely returned to his hometown. However, we still don't know one thing. What, what was, was in that bottle? And this is the ball you threw from the pirate ship? That was a relief. That was a wonderful story, Tata. But you still haven't told us what was in the message in the bottle. First, let's open the bottle. I myself don't know what's in it. It's been close to 50 years after all. It's not blank. We just need to heat up the invisible link. You used invisible link? I've always wanted to read a secret message like that. Quick, what does it say? It says not all who wander are lost. How is so? Why is it such a young age, Tata? <laughs> it's just a quote. Is that all? It's not just a quote, it's a thing that gives you strength and resilience of whatever be in your journey. I get it, but I wish your Tata had also left a secret message for you to read. Wait, let's check the middle too. I never thought, I just thought my grandfather would be too old to do such things. It looks like a bunch of lines and markings. It looks like a map. Where does it lead to? To a new land, to treasure, to a secret world. The only way to find out is, let's set sail. <laughs> Whoa, 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 what a spectacle. Well, slap my knee and call me enchanted. That was a real dazzler, wasn't it? I feel like I've been on a whirlwind adventure with Sundar himself, soaking in the essence of every place he visited. Now, as much as my stomach is growling for some lip-smacking chart and finger-licking butter chicken, 
uh, it's time to shift gears. Uh, let's roll out the red carpet for Mr. Yugesh, the mastermind behind our theatrical extravaganza, to shower us with his words of gratitude. Take it away, Mr. Yugesh. Good evening, everyone. It fills me with great joy to stand before you today, representing both the students and staff to express our heartfelt gratitude. Tonight marks a significant milestone for us as we celebrate our inaugural Anandam event, a moment we've eagerly anticipated as a school community. I'm certain that, like us, you as parents were also eager to witness what today had in store. Within the Shiv Nada school community, the arts hold a profound, profound significance. We recognize the invaluable role they play in the daily learning experiences of our children. Beyond fostering creativity, the arts equip our students with tangible skills that transcend various aspects of life. Today's event beautifully exemplifies the importance of arts in education. Our students have poured their hearts and souls and uh, everything that they had into presenting this captivating show for all of you and even more so for themselves. Let's commence with a resounding applaud, uh, round of applause for their dedication and hard work. As I extend my vote of thanks, I must first acknowledge the Shiv Nadar Foundation and the visionary leadership of our founder, Mr. Nadar, without whom none of this would be possible. My sincere gratitude also goes out to Mr. Shikhar Malhotra, our chairman, and the esteemed members of the core team, Colonel Gopal and Ms. Aarti Dawar. Special appreciation is owed to our principal, Ms. Padmini Sambasivam, whose unwavering commitment to excellence has been a guiding light for us all. I express profound gratitude to Vice Principal, Mr. Matthew, and early years head, Ms. Manveen, for their con constant support and infectious enthusiasm. Additionally, I extend my thanks to the administrative head, Commander Rahul, and his dedicated team for their tireless efforts in ensuring the success of this event. I extend a huge thank you to Sri Ram and Vijay Sri for overseeing the procurement of all the items related to the event today. And of course, a humongous thanks to all the team members of the arts department, without whom this would not have been possible. A heartfelt mention must be made of our wonderful teachers and teaching and learning lead, Ms. Rizwana whose unwavering support and, and encouragement have been the cornerstone of the arts team's endeavors. Words alone cannot do the justice to the entire dedication. I would, end, I would also like to express gratitude to all the individuals who work tirelessly behind, behind the scenes to bring the event to fruition. Members of our technical staff, our housekeeping and security staff, the stage setting team and LED screens from fairy tale events, the sound and lighting teams from DeMello's, a big thank you to all the parents and grandparents and all the family members in attendance for their unwavering support and encouragement. Last but not the least, the stars of the evening themselves, the students. So let's give them a round of applause as they take to the stage once more for the curtain call.
Take a bow. Can we have the lights for the music students? Thank you all so much. Let's rise for the national anthem as we conclude the evening. I know there must be a lot of excitement to meet your kids. Thank you for your presence. We request the parents to pick up the learners from their respective homeroom classes. The homeroom teachers will be there to assist with the dispersal. Thank you so much for the amazing evening. I would request all parents to wait for five minutes to allow the children to get back to